and you just refer yourself as a fat activist. And so I'm curious about how you um, enmesh both a, a scholarly, you know, as a scholar, but also as an activist, and how those two things work together, and how um, you know. It, I would view your work as incredibly political, and mm -hmm. in terms of how um, how that sort of like the political slant is is um, received, and how we continue to push psychology into uh, an activist sort of stance. Yeah, well, you know, as you know, I mean, everything is political that we do, and you know, psychology I think has tried so hard to be a natural science and to sort of imitate medicine in many ways that we forget just how political it is. I mean, there's nothing more indoctrinating, I think, than a Psych 1 course or a Psych Methods course or a Psych Statistics course, sort of teaching students that, I was just telling my grad students the other day, you know, these Likert scales, how, rate your self-esteem from 1 to 7. When did we begin to assign numbers to our self-esteem or anything? But yet in psychology, that's the, the world view, that we, we convert everything to a number, whatever feeling it is, whatever thought it is. So it's very political. I mean, in other cultures, you wouldn't even begin to know how to connect that, you know, self-esteem to a number. Um, so, I mean, I, I just go from the outset that everything is political. Mm -hmm. And certainly, as a feminist, I've seen, you know, how we've had to politicize so many issues that are now completely mainstream. That, you know, even my male colleagues will look at gender differences. That was so radical 20 years ago. And um, I also think it's very important to be out as a lesbian. I once did a talk where I asked my former students about many issues around mentoring. And one of them said, you know, if you know a professor is a lesbian but she doesn't come out, what message does that send to you and your future? I mean, does that mean you always have to be closeted and so on? Because why isn't she out? So I take great care to be out. I mean, I'll tell anybody sitting next to me on the airplane, any chance I get that I'm a lesbian, um, you know, is this business or pleasure? I'll say, well, I just saw my lover Penny and she, you know, just to make sure it's <laughs> Penny, it's a female name. And, and similarly with weight, you know, I, I, you know, I call myself a fat woman and I use that term. And, you know, I think it's very important to, um, you know, use that as a model that, you know, we come in all sizes, that, you know, I'm proud of my body, that there isn't just this very artificial body that we, you know, look at in the media and so on. Mm -hmm.